in my work with companies, uh, I find that if the company, it, you have to hold people accountable so that if they're off of a budget or if they're taking too long, you do need to have accountability. But you can do that in a way that's not punishing, that's not telling them, you know, if you don't get this thing done, you're out of here, or we're docking your pay. Or there, there are managers out there that are very adept at encouraging good, honest reporting of not penalizing failure in an inappropriate way, of creating the open environment that you really need to succeed. And part of that openness is a willingness and ability to share bad news at the right time, as soon as it can be acted on, as soon as we can do something about it, not letting it fester, not letting it wait, and certainly not letting it blow up. A lot of what we see as corporate governance failures is uh, actually bad news that was totally unknown until after it was too late. The Barings trader that blew up the bank, uh, the, uh, the tax um, shielding that the UBS bankers were doing in contravention, not just of U.S. law, but of UBS policy. Uh, instances like that were driven in part by a culture that would penalize people for bad news. And you've got to get rid of that in order to encourage ethical behavior.